welcome everyone. And today we have a special guest with us today from Frozenby, am I right? Yes. So let you introduce yourselves. I'm Julius Fondem, I'm the I'm a marketing developer at Frozenby. And hi, I'm Kai Boomin and I'm the marketing manager. Yes, and we welcome you here now. So your team just announced Trine 2 complete story is coming to PlayStation 4. Can you explain to our viewers what comes with this version? Uh, well, the Trine 2 complete story is um, has the main campaign, uh, basic Trine 2, and uh, the Goblin Menace expansion levels, so that's plus six levels, and uh, the Dwarven Cavern secret uh, unlockable level as well. Uh, which used to be a console exclusive to Wii U, but it's also now on PS4. Oh, that's great, that's great. Um, how about, how long has your team been working with the PS4 hardware? The PS4 about half a year. Yeah, so it, the porting has been like very fast for us, because yeah, just the hardware is powerful and it's been quite easy to develop for, yeah. for us. I was just going to ask if it is very comfortable to use. Yes, it's been quite comfortable for us. Yeah. I would say. No, no major hurdles or anything mm. like that, it's just uh, the basic uh, process, the, the thing that mainly really takes time is doing the console specific yeah. uh, things such as the different controls and okay. the menu, so, menu layouts and yeah. 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 like specific bugs for that, this console. Uh, the next question is kind of <coughs> kind of what you said, uh, what were your team's first impressions of the PS4 hardware? That it was easy to yeah, use? Yeah, I think it, it was positive first. first. Yeah, I'd say the first thing that we noticed is that it's a very powerful machine. and. Uh, we pretty much instantly got it to uh, the game to run at 1080p, so full HD, mm -hmm. and at 60 FPS with a little tweaking uh, of our own uh, own side. So it, it runs very smoothly on the PS4. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So, uh, do you plan on having a type of upgrade for people that have trying to on PlayStation 3, um, like? Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> like what Activision is doing with Call of Duty Ghosts. Unfortunately, uh, we're unable to do that because uh, the PS3 version was published by Atlas, and we're self-publishing this time. So that unfortunately rules it out for us. Yeah, we definitely wanted to do something for the PS3 owners of Trine 2, but uh, as Julius just said, uh, that there's like technical yeah, issues is, that you yeah. can't really. We've we've asked Sony about Sony about it, but they don't uh, like it. <laughs> uh, well, no, it's they, not about them liking. It's just their system is set up so that it's not compatible for what what we're suggesting. Okay. Because like, as I said, uh, different publishers, they just don't work together <laughs> yeah. in, in promotion <laughs> I, yeah, I can understand that. But we're still working on trying to get something for the, for the people who have it for PS3, because I, I think, we think it's only fair if, if we could do of that, course. but we're, we're doing everything we can. That's great to hear. So, is this the first official PS4 3D game? Um, well, we haven't heard of any yeah, other 3D yeah, we, titles, so it might be. I guess, I guess we but, are. Yeah, but we, we don't want to say like it is the first because yeah, you don't want we're to not hundred percent yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but but our game does run in 3D, so yeah. yes, it does. Okay. So, um, is there a slated release date yet? Uh, we're aiming for launch, and it's looking like we're going to make it for launch, but we're still we're not hundred percent sure on that. But it's going to be very close to launch, if not launch. Troyan has always been a visually stunning game series. We can all <laughs> say that. Uh, regarding visuals, what kind of things were you able to do on PS4 that you weren't able to do on PS3? Uh, well, uh, first of all, the, the expansion levels that um, uh, we brought onto the Wii U version, uh, the Goblin Menace expansion levels, um, those weren't uh, sort of uh, they were more graphically advanced than the basic uh, levels, so we were able to bring those easily and uh, upping the graphics to 1080p, of course. And uh, also the 3D, which takes quite a bit of uh, power from the console, that's what we were uh, able to bring as well. Um, the Troin series has gained a lot of fans for its breathtaking visuals and wonderful puzzles. So, can we expect to see Troin 3? We definitely want to see the three heroes return at some point in, in the future, but we'll have to see when that is. Okay. You can't say for sure. We still have some unannounced projects, uh, which will be announced sometime okay. and in the near future. Uh, and uh, yes, as I said, uh, we definitely want to do try three at some point. Okay, we will look forward to receiving new news about that. So, this will be your second self-published title, but your first with PlayStation. 
Can you tell us your thoughts on publishing and how it's been publishing for PlayStation specifically? Uh, well, uh, the PlayStation uh, policy has been very nice to us and uh, they've been very cooperative and uh, supportive. <coughs> And I think uh, self-publishing on the PlayStation 4 has been uh, like a very nice experience for us. So. And, yeah, in general, it's a great boon for indies. I mean, self-publishing is really, really what what's been missing from the console space uh, up until um, now the PS4 and, and the coming consoles and Wii U. <clears throat> so it's 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 good for everyone. I mean, there's more indie games coming to the platforms. Yeah. That's better for the developers because their games on more platforms, like like for us, for example. And then it's good for Sony. They get more games in their catalog. And it's good for the consumers because they have a wider range of games to choose from, and there's more different types of games. So it's it's good for everyone. Uh, this next question comes from our community. Uh, we were named Shafty. Uh, will we be seeing anything in next generation games we haven't seen before? Any big leaps from last generation apart from more polish and higher resolutions? More indie games, at least on the consoles, I'd say. That's, that's definitely what's going to be happening. Because with Xbox 360 and PS3, like, for most of their lifetime, it was, it was really hard for indies to publish on them due to their system that they had set up previously. But now it's a little bit different. Yeah, now it's different. It's way, way better. So more indie games on, on, on consoles, smaller, smaller games with uh, like more quirky smaller games that have been mostly on Steam up until now. Okay. So I think that's one thing, definitely. And I'd also expect uh, more 3D stuff coming out with more power. And, um, well, there's the Oculus Rift, which is not uh, directly related, related to PS4, but Sony has been uh, in the talks of their own VR headset as well. So I'm expecting uh, probably that to make a big splash once it comes. Yeah, VR would be so. That would be very interesting. Um, can you tell us a little about your next project on PS4? You mentioned there could be a try and three coming up. Unfortunately, we can't talk about our uh, projects right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for this Thank interview. You and yeah, it was pleasant. <laughs> yes. Very. Thanks.